Okay, race 29 in the last race here from Thurls is the EBF handicap hurdle over two and a half miles. So 0 to 130. Number one is Molly It's No White. Two is Frantic Eskimo. Three is If You Want Blood. Four, Cop Out. Five, Disney's Nightmare. Six, Business Lady. Seven, Legends Mark. Eight, Magical Climate. And nine, Pearl Necklace. So nine of them here. My final commentary of the week. And uh, have a few throat, throat lozenges. So it's Frantic Eskimo and Pearl Necklace that both bound into the first and get over it. One uh, that was really slow at the back was Molly It's No White, the top weight. And it showed as he went over that first fence. So as we approach the second, it's Pearl Necklace and Frantic Eskimo together by a couple of lengths to Business Lady. The rest get over it, but they're all pretty slow at the back there. So Frantic Eskimo is one, and Pearl Necklace is two. Business Lady is three, already in Indian file. Then a couple of lengths back to Cop Out and Legends Mark. They've been followed through by Magical Climate. Then the three at the rear at the moment are Disney's Nightmare, If You Want Blood, and Molly It's No White. They've got extremely well strung out here. We're only through uh, half a mile, four furlongs. We've already got probably 15, 16 lengths from first to last. And it's Frantic Eskimo has been frantic at the front and gone off pretty, pretty fast. He's even taken the legs out of Pearl Necklace, who usually likes to front run, as well as Business Lady for Alex Cherry. But these three uh, are up front within a couple of lengths of each other. And then we've got about four back to the grey Legends Mark for Del Hinton. He's been followed through by Cop Out for Graham Clutterbuck, but was slow over that one. And we've got Magical Climate and Disney's Nightmare, If You Want Blood. And Molly Etz, No White, has not had a particularly good run round so far. And he's still got himself a little bit detached at the back. And... Uh, Maybe feeling something, but it might be biding his time. Gonna attack late. We've got about a mile and a half to travel. It's still Frantic Eskimo, Pearl Necklace and Business Lady together now. They've got four on Legends Mark, who's on his own. He leads uh, Cop Out by two. We take the fifth, everybody's over that. The Business Lady's just nosed in front now as they go past the finishing post for the circuit to go. Still pretty uh, spread out here. Well, it's no white under a lot of pressure at the rear. I don't know if he'll continue continue round. But up, back up front, Frantic Eskimo takes him out onto the back straight now, out into the woods. It's Frantic Eskimo, Business Lady and Pearl Necklace all within a length of each other. A couple lengths back to Pearl, oh, sorry, Legends Mark. And a further three back to Cop Out and Magical Climate. And they've got three advantage over Disney's Nightmare and If You Want Blood. And Molly, it's no white just at the rear at the moment. We go over the six. A bit of a poor jump there by Pearl Necklace. They're really well strung out here. It's Business Lady and Frantic Eskimo and Pearl Necklace. Still there. The lead's cut down a little bit. Legends Mark's made up probably a length. The two that are chasing Legends Mark are Cop Out and Magical Climate. We'll go over the seventh. We've got about four back to if you want blood and then a further two to this is nightmare and about seven back to Molly it's no white. So we're inside seven furlongs now. Majority of the jumps have done. We're over the next hurdle. Everybody gets over that. But it's business lady. Just noses in front from Pearl Necklace. Frantic Eskimos dropped back into third, but they're only a couple of lengths from Legends Mark now. And then two back to Cop Out, Magical Climate. If you want blood, Disney's Nightmare, Molly It's No White, still plugging on. They go over the night, there's only two left to, to negotiate, and uh, it's still the three at the front. Business Lady, Pearl Necklace and Frantic Eskimo, with Cop Out trying to make up some ground, uh, get up to challenge. Here comes Legends Mark now, put under a lot of pressure by his jockey, the whips out. But it's Business Lady that leads him around the final bend and line up for the judge. It's Business Lady, Pearl Necklace, Frantic Eskimo, and the inside is Legends Mark now. He's going to make a challenge, but he's got nowhere to go. It's Business Lady and Pearl Necklace. Pearl Necklace starts to have the advantage now, starting to pull into the tenth. They get over the tent, they both jump it together. One moving really well now is Cop Out on the outside, but it's Pearl Necklace that noses in front. He's probably got a quarter of a length. We're inside the two furlongs as we hit the two furlong pole. It's Pearl Necklace from Business Lady. These two neck and neck, and they're pulling away from the others now. Got one and a half furlongs left to run. Only one left to jump, and it's Business Lady that's started to pull away now. Pearl Necklace doesn't seem to have a lot left. Engine's gone. Business Lady, under some good pressure from his jockey, is starting to pull away. Hard finishing if you want blood on the air outside he just nips over the 11th but here comes if you want blood on the outside but he's not going to catch him business lady's going to take this business lady for x cherry gets a nice win here picks up the ebf handicap hurdle 
and Molly at Snow White did carry on round poor run but business day for Alex Jerry takes it well done second is If You Want Blood for Martin Needham third was Cop Out for Graham Crutchback fourth was Magical Climate for Daniel French and fifth was Pearl Necklace for Obi-Wan over to Martin